Amanda here and today I wanted to share with you guys what my current skincare routine is because I know I work with like a lot of old people but it's definitely one of the things they mention the most is how they like my skin how I have such nice skin and I'm always like girl it's the makeup but it is something I get complimented on a lot so I thought I would just share what I'm doing my skin is not perfect by any means I get pimples and I always forget to wash it at night when I'm being lazy so I'm, I've got blackheads it's not perfect by any means but I do take really good care of it because it's something that's really just important to me so let's get started hopefully the Sun is not like beaming me in the face I've had to move like three times so first let's start in the morning in the morning I cleanse my face with the Paula's Choice Resist Perfectly Balanced Foaming Cleanser. This is not foam, I'm not sure why it's called that, but um, it is a nice gentle cleanser. And I find that like the tiniest dab is enough to clean my whole face, so I'll get a lot of use out of this. And then in the mornings, well in even in the evenings, I'll go in with a toner after I wash my face. So I use the Paula's Choice Resist Advanced Replenishing Toner. And this maybe has like two uses left in it. After that I'm going to be moving to the Paula's Choice Moisture Boost Essential Hydrating Toner. I like hydrating everything. My skin I would say is normal to oily, mostly normal. But I still just love hydrating everything. Like, I don't like stuff made for skin that's dry because I just feel like it just sops the life out of my skin. So I always get moisturizing everything. So excited to try this and I really, really like this one. After I tone in the mornings, I use my salicylic acid. So I have the clear, uh, from Polish Choice again, clear anti-redness exfoliating solution. So this is the 2% salicylic acid and I've got like water running down the side of it. I just pulled all this out of the bathroom. <laughs> so I use that and it's an exfoliant but it's also um, good for acne prone skin and I definitely think that this keeps my skin in check and definitely reduces minorly the number of blackheads that are on my nose and chin. So I use that and also for the toner and for the salicylic acid, I have been using the Cotton Squares Padded from the Up and Up brand. I used the Cotton Rounds before and hated them. I hated them. But I bought these and I really, really, really like these ones. So I'll be purchasing these again and again in the future. After I do all that in the mornings, I use this. Um, serum. It's the Paula's Choice Skin Balancing Super Antioxidant Concentrate Serum for noil Normal Oily Combination Skin. And this has like a mattifying feeling to it. It's like a texture that isn't oily whatsoever. So this is a great one to use during the day. I really, really like this. Uh, I'm probably almost out of this too. I'll need to buy a new one of those soon. And then... This is not the best item to be using on your face, but I'm using it. It's the Jason Sun Sports Sunscreen with SPS, SPF 45. And I say it's not the best to be using on your skin because this has fragrance in it. It is the last ingredient on here, I believe. Yes, it's the very last ingredient in the uh, sunscreen, but it's in there. So fragrance is a skin irritant. You probably shouldn't be putting it on your face, but I really just wanted to finish this up since I used most of it over the summer, so I've been using it for my face. And honestly, I don't notice too much of an adverse reaction to it. The Jason brand is uh, paraben-free, SLS-free, petroleum-free, doesn't have phthalates or artificial colors, and it's also cruelty-free, which I really love. So, definitely recommend that for body, but it's what I've been using on my face lately. So, I've been using that, although I probably shouldn't be, but I am. And then that's what I do for the morning time routine. And do I switch any of that up? 
most of the time I, that's my regular daily morning routine. So in the evening for removing makeup, what I typically use is the Body Shop Chamomile Silky Cleansing Oil. This is the only cleansing oil I've found that does not irritate my eyes whatsoever. A lot of them just burn my eyes to no end. I don't know what is in it that burns the crap out of my eyes, but they do. So this is also a cruelty free one, so I'm going to continue to purchase this one over and over again. I do have some other oils in my collection, just straight one thing oils that I'm probably going to use after I finish this, but then after that I'll probably purchase this again because I really like this. And then I cleanse my face, so I'll either use the cleanser from the morning, or if I'm in the shower, I'll use the Proactive Solution Renewing Cleanser. And I had been sent this to do a review on, I did the review on my blog like a while ago, um, and I really like it, I think it's quite nice. I did not like using it every day morning and night, because I think that's just too much manual exfoliation, but using it once in a while, I like it. I do have a Clarisonic. I don't use it all the time. I should use it more. It's just I forget to charge it all the time. I'm so lazy about it. So there's that. And then in the evenings, once a week, I will use this. This is the Paula's Choice Resist Weekly Resurfacing Treatment 10% AHA. AHA is a glycolic acid. So I'll use this once a week, twice if I remember, but usually it only occurs to me once a week to do it. <laughs> so that's why I do it. So I put it on a cotton pad and then just rub it around and leave it be. If I do this, I will either use my Josie Moran Pure Argan Oil or the Paula's Choice Resist Moisture Renewal Oil Booster as my moisturizer for the evening. I'll use one or the other. If I do not use that treatment, what I'll do is make a concoction of the Proactive Solutions Repairing Lotion, which has um, benzoyl peroxide. I couldn't think of what it was called. This has benzoyl peroxide in it, and I'll mix that in with some vitamin E oil for extra moisture. I love, love, love lots of moisture in my skin. So I'll put those two together, and that'll be what I wear to sleep. And then once in a while, if I remember, I use the Alginist Complete Eye Renewal Balm. I got this as a sample, I think from like Nordstrom or something, and it's alright. I don't think you need eye creams, I don't think they're necessary, so I'm not like one to really hype them. I think that if you have good skincare, it's going to take care of all of your skin, not just the parts of your face that aren't under, aren't under your eyes. I don't know, I think that's weird. So that is my skincare routine. And if you have any questions, you can leave them down below. If you enjoyed this video, you can give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to stick around for a while, hit that subscribe button. And if you are really interested in learning a lot more about skincare, because I probably didn't explain all this as well as I could have, I highly suggest you subscribe to Allura Beauty. She has a skincare um, playlist. It has her full body routine her personal face routine, an entire overview of the Polish Choice line, and then a video for dry skin and for oily skin. Her skincare videos have changed my life. I love them. Absolutely love them. And I love the Polish Choice brand too, as you can probably tell. So I'll have my Polish Choice discount link down below. I'll have a link to um, Allura Beauty's channel. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed doing it for you all, and I love skincare. So if you guys want any other skincare videos in the future, I was thinking about doing a skincare video about some of the masks I have, but I don't know. Well, we'll see what happens. So I'll talk to you all later. Bye!